In Uttar Pradesh, BJP President Amit Shah today flagged off Parivartan Yatra from Saharanpur. On this occasion, he launched a skating attack. Years. BJP President will also flag off Parivartan Rath Yatras from Jhansi on 6th November, Sonbhadra on 8th and from Balia on 9th November. Samadwadi Party began its mega silver jubilee celebrations in Lucknow today in presence of JDU, RJD and RLD leaders who shared the stage with the first family of Uttar Pradesh. Addressing the gathering in Lucknow, Uttar Pradesh, Chief Minister Akhilesh Yadav said that he is ready to face any challenge to empower and strengthen the party. Four more persons were arrested today in connection with the Buldana rape case where a 13-year-old student was raped at a school. A total of 15 people have been arrested so far. 11 other until 10th of November. Defence Minister Manohar Parikar today said 95% people have already got the benefit of one rank, one pension and are happy with it. Talking to media, Parikar said the rest are very old pensioners from 1962 war and so records are incomplete. He assured that records will be completed in the next two months. Union Minister Venkaiah Naidu has pitched for sustainable growth in infrastructure sector. Speaking at an event of Builders Association of India in Chennai, Naidu said FDI is being opened up for more investment in infrastructure development. Information and Broadcasting Minister Venkaiah Naidu has said that freedom of press is important but security of the nation is most important. Talking to media persons in Chennai this morning, Naidu said that those criticizing the day-long ban imposed on NDTV India over its Pathan court coverage are ill-informed, politically motivated and are trying to create controversy. Union Finance Minister Arun Chetli has underlined the need to make all-out efforts to reduce recovery cases. Addressing a seminar on debt recovery in Gurugram, Jaitley said there is a high flow of foreign capital and public investment, but private investment is still a challenge. He asked banks to support the corporate sector. In Jammu and Kashmir, one terrorist was killed and one army jawan injured in an ongoing encounter in Dobjan area of Shopia. Security forces have cordoned off the area to flush out hiding terrorists. One more school building was gutted in fire in Bandipura district of Kashmir, taking the number of schools damaged by miscreants to 32. Meanwhile, Kashmiri students have sought tough action against those indulging in such dastardly acts. In a trail of road accidents across the country, at least 28 people were killed in three separate mishaps in Mumbai and Sirsa district of Haryana. 16 people were killed and 20 injured in Monday when a bus fell into a gorge, while six each were killed in Sirsa and Mumbai. Several people have got severe injuries in the mishaps. Visiting Sri Lankan Foreign Minister Mangala Samaravira held talks with Minister of External Affairs Sushma Swaraj today in New Delhi. They discussed long-standing issues pertaining to fishermen after talks between fishermen associations of the two countries failed to yield any results. Many schools in Delhi and Sierra region are closed today as the national capital grapples with some of the highest pollution levels in recent years. The region has been enveloped in thick smog. In Iraq, special forces have recaptured six districts of eastern Mosul and battled their way into another suburb in the northern city held for more than two years by the Islamic State terror group. NASA's magnetospheric multi-scale mission has set the Guinness World Record for highest altitude fix of a GPS signal at 70,000 kilometers above the surface of the Earth. India to face China in finals of Women's Asian Champions Hockey Trophy today. Earlier, China beat India in the last round-robin match.